My name's Alex, and I'm going to show you how to morph in Photoshop. So there's a few ways you can go about morphing an image in Photoshop. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is using the marquee slash transform tool. So select your marquee tool, and make sure you don't have to have it on a separate layer, but if you're already working in Photoshop and making an image, it helps to have it on a separate layer. But if you're doing it on a photo, that's fine too. Um, you're just going to want to separate the part you're morphing from the image. So, and the easiest way to do that, for example, is I'll show you. Um, if you want to either use the magic wand tool, and you can literally click around it, or you can use the lasso tool and just kind of draw around it. Um, because this is a vector shape, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and using the magic wand tool, I'm hitting Command C, and adding a new layer. And I'm actually going to delete that from the background. And I'm going to say I want to use the background color because it's white. And there it is gone. And sometimes when you do that, um, it'll leave an outline like so. So you can just go ahead and mark key over that and delete it. Just like background color, and it'll be gone. Uh, and then you can paste it right into your new layer. And then we will begin. So use the marquee tool, go to free transform. And you can right click again, and here are a bunch of your options. You have scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, and warp. I love to play with distort because it doesn't let you play with the image itself, but it lets you play with the angles of the image. So if you really want to distort something to look like it's perspectively moving and changing, this is kind of a fun one to use. My name is Alex, and this is how you morph in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.